Welcome everyone back to the Brickitech studio where we work and play with Lego every day. Today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be a master class on how to get no one to watch your videos. I feel like I'm very well qualified for this. And in my experience, my number one tip for you on how to get no one to watch your videos is by making a review on a set that's irrelevant, that no one cares about, and that no one bought. And that set is the Queer Eye Fab Five Loft. So yeah, if you guys really want to suck at getting anyone interested in your videos, just follow along with this and I'll show you how it's done. As we look at the Fab Five Loft, I bought this set for $60 directly from Lego because, again, no one wanted it, no one cared. And I bought it because I was going to part it out. As you can see, there's lots of great pieces in there. And I thought at 40% off, why not pull the trigger? That was until someone told me that I should, in fact, build the set because there could be some really great ideas for how to build mocks and assemblies in this. And I have to agree with them. It actually is a good set in that regard. I don't have any source material here like to go off of. I don't know anything about the set. I don't know why these guys are standing up here or if they're the same person, just the before and after, nor do I know which one is the before and after because they're both pretty terrible. But if you need a mullet for your sig fig, the Queer Eye set has you covered. Let's talk about this set though. I was surprised. There's some builds in this that I really loved, including this little TV stand right here. How adorbs is that? If you're trying to make yourself a mock of a house, this would be a great build for you. So I learned a little something off that and I enjoyed that. Clark was also into this as well with this piece over here that's hanging out to the side. This is supposed to be like a closet or a wardrobe. The only thing I don't like about this is that the hands are still on there and I think that's creepy as heck. And I, I really can't unsee that. Like they definitely should have taken those off. It's just like a, a closet of people's torsos just hanging there. In fact, as I continued building this set, I really felt like this was some type of serial killer's dwelling because if you look back here, you got these mannequins with the, the hair pieces on there. You got people's legs. Who knows what's in that bag right there? There's a broom to mop up all of the, uh, the body parts after you slay people. There's also some really weird minifig choices in here as well. You've got... Fred from Scooby-Doo, this time he has brown hair. You've got Jared Leto, he said it's Morbin time. You've got Thor, and then you've got Jeff Goldblum, and uh, I'm not really sure who this guy is, but uh, I like him a lot. I also like this, uh, this rabbit they included that's posing as a dog. And my favorite, or least favorite thing about this, this coffee table that just kind of moves around. I, I don't like that, because I'm gonna pick this up and that thing's gonna go, but I do like printed tiles. And these are beautiful. I love that a lot. I also like this desk lamp. That was another situation right there where I was like, dang, that's a really cool little build that I would have never done otherwise. These chairs are lovely. The little recliner, like literally reclines the couch. I like the build from that. But by far the best part of this isn't the plant, although the plant is cool. I actually showed this off in the stream that I did. Uh, you can, well, I had a better example of that in the stream. So if you were there, you were there. Uh, we do have stickers everywhere. I like this thing over here. This has the China. It's like the China closet. China closet. I love the kitchen though. The kitchen is where we need to spend our time. Look at this. The white masonry bricks. Ah, I think that's why people are buying this. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with that picture back there. Yeah, ass queen. Yeah, 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 queen. What does that even mean? Is any I know there's no one that's watched Queer Eye that's probably watching this, but what does that mean? Got the avocado cut here. So stereotypical. I love the stove. The burner is there. That's cool. The little coffee machine back there. Clark actually built his own coffee maker. This was his example that he built. He even built one of the wardrobes too. So again, I could have parted this out, just completely put the pieces away, never seen this set, but I got some value out of this. And I think the people that were watching the streams, because I did stream, I streamed the entire build of this. I have nothing but regrets. Uh, this this kitchen though, it's cute, isn't it? I don't like the prison vibe over here, but I do like the white back there. I also love this refrigerator, quite possibly my favorite part of this set. Worst part though is trying to get it open. And especially when you're trying to do this in a one take video where you're trying to show people how to not get views in their video and you're doing such a darn good job showing this off. I got to do worse. Look at all the food in there. You got the, the fridge and the freezer. What do they have in? Can't even tell what that is. Looks like orange juice and there's some oats. What's that up top there? Leave it as a comment if you can figure it out. I'm gonna keep it as a secret. What's going on here, Greg? What is that? Just failing life right now. Can I do this one-handed attack? Boom. 
Again, not how to get people to watch your video. You already left. If you actually made it here, you already left. You're not here. Stickers over there. That wall, I don't know what's going on with that, but it's something. The fridge does have a little bit of a situation happening at the top there that I don't know if I can fix. But the set's decent. I'm not keeping it built. I'm not putting it on display. I am going to part it out. But ultimately, I am glad, and Jared Leto's glad too. Glad that we put this together. I got to learn a little bit through these models, and I think that's one of the best things about buying Lego sets. Worst part is that you got to buy them. The best thing is that, oh, I did learn this new thing, and now I can incorporate that into my builds, and it's, it's like a little bit of inspiration here and there. Speaking of inspiration, I hope I inspired you to make Lego videos that no one wants to watch. If you need any other tips from me, just watch any of my other videos, and you'll find out exactly how to not have people want to view your content. On that, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a glorious rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Or maybe we won't, because no one wants to watch them.